So many people ask me if they can upgrade the CPU or GPU in the Dell video that I made a long time ago. And you can check it over here, here or here. So the answer is yes for the CPU and no for the GPU. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your CPU at home. Alright, enough talking, let's get started. Now to do this upgrade, you will need some common household tools with some materials that you can easily get from Walmart or Amazon. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. Now this particular one has a pH 0 bit in it, but any screwdriver around this size should work. I also have a prying tool, a pair of tweezers, 75 or preferably 91% ounce of purple alcohol, and some kind of a thermal grease. Now the procedure for taking apart of the machine is going to be identical as the one in the SSD and RAM upgrade video. You can check it in the video description or through the pop-up link. I will fast forward this part for now. Alright, after you take the top panel and the keyboard off, the upper left corner is where the CPU and GPU located. There are a total of 4 screws secure the heatsink onto the chassis and each one has a number right next to them. This is the sequence to tighten the screws. To undo the screws, we need to loosen them in the reverse order. So start from number 4, we'll loose each one, but not all the way. After each one is loose, we'll loose them all the way. Also, don't forget that we still have a power connector for the heatsink fan that we need to unplug. After that, you should be able to take your heatsink and fan assembly out. After we take the heatsink assembly out, we need to clean the old thermal paste on the CPU, grab a piece of paper towel, and dip a little bit of rubbing alcohol and rub the thermal grease out. You might also want to use a cotton swab with some alcohol to clean some hard to reach areas. Now the next step is change your CPU. Since I've already upgraded my CPU, I'm just going to show you how to take it out and put it back. Now you can use your prying tool or flathead screwdriver to turn the knob 180 degrees to set the CPU loose. Grab on both sides and lift the CPU. You should take little to no effort to lift the CPU out of the socket. Just be careful with those pins, they're very easy to bend. Now grab your new CPU and align the little triangle with the triangles on the CPU socket or orient the new one with the same direction as the old one. Set it on the socket and give it a little bit of wiggle. Now the CPU should fall into the socket just by gravity. Don't force it in. Lastly, turn the knob 180 degrees to lock the CPU in place. And if you have any questions about how to choose the correct CPU, leave a comment down below. And if there's more than 10 comments about this, I'll make a video about how to choose the correct CPU. We still need to clean the thermal grease on the heatsink. Usually, thermal grease dries out around 4 to 5 years, and even if you are not changing your CPU, it is still a good idea to put new thermal grease on to ensure a good heat dissipation. After that, apply a little bit of thermal grease onto the CPU and GPU. After we're done with all of those steps, fasten the screws by the numerical order on the heatsink. Again, don't tie them all the way down in the first run, set them in place and tie them all the way. Also, don't forget to plug the fan back in. Alright, you should now be able to put everything back. Again, refer to my old video if you have any questions about putting everything back. Also, feel free to leave a comment or question down below if you have any questions about changing CPU. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys later.